Hi everyone, welcome to the NTS at the corner and welcome to our tutorial about transforming quadratic functions from general form to standard form or vertex form and vice versa. First, kailangan nating maging familiar sa general form and the standard form or vertex form ng isang quadratic function. Ang general form ng quadratic function ay y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Ang standard form naman or tinatawag ring vertex form ng isang quadratic function ay y is equal to a times quantity x minus h squared plus k. Here are the steps in transforming general form of quadratic function to standard form or vertex form. Ang una nating step is kailangan nating i-group ang terms na nagko-contain ng x. Ang second naman nating step ay i-factor out ang a kung ang a ay hindi equal to 1. Ang third step natin ay kailangan nating gawing perfect square trinomial ang nasa loob ng parentheses by adding the square of half of b and subtracting a times the square of half of b to the constant term. And the fourth step is to express the perfect square trinomial as the square of a binomial. Let's have our first example. Ang given natin ay y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Ito ay nasa general form and gagawin natin siyang vertex form. Let's have our first step. I-group natin yung may mga variable na x. Yun ay 2x squared minus 4x. And close natin yan sa parenthesis. Next, kailangan nating i-factor out yung a since ang a is not equal to 1. Ang a natin sa given ay 2. So, ilalabas natin yung 2. Okay, nasa labas na siya ng parenthesis. Now, paano natin ma-obtain yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin? Ang gagawin natin ay i-divide lamang natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis by a, which is 2. So, 2x squared divided by 2, we have x squared. Ito na yon yung nasa loob. And then, negative 4x divided by 2, answer is negative 2x. And then, copy natin yung plus 5. Ang next step natin is kailangan natin gawing perfect square trinomial itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Paano mangyayari yon? Okay, so ito yung magiging bagong form. Ang pinang-add natin ay 1 at ang pinang-subtract naman natin sa constant ay 2. Paano sila nakuha? Gamitin natin yung ating formula dito sa steps na given. We have half ng b tapos i-square natin. And dito sa loob ng parenthesis, ano ba ang b natin? Ang b ay negative 2. Kukunin natin yan. Negative 2 divided by 2. Okay, answer is negative 1. Kaya meron tayo ditong negative 1. And then, i-square natin yan, negative 1 times negative 1, we have positive 1. And yun yung ini-add natin dito sa nasa loob ng parenthesis to make this a perfect square trinomial. Paano naman yung isinubtract natin sa constant term na 5? Ang kaibahan lamang naman doon sa kanina na ginawa natin, yung square ng half of b ay kailangan lamang natin i-multiply by a. Since ang nakuha na natin kanina ay positive 1, okay, yun yung ipinang-add natin, simple lang, i-multiply lang natin yan by a. Ano ba ang a natin? Ang a natin ay 2. So, 2 times 1, answer is 2. So, wag malilito kung bakit naging negative 2 yung nandito kasi nga tayo ay nag-subtract. So, minus, ano yung pinang-minus natin? Minus positive 2. Ang susunod natin na step ay gawin nating square of binomial itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? And then, later on, simplify natin yung nasa labas. Gagawin nating square of binomial yung x squared minus 2x plus 1. Kuhanin muna natin ng square root ng x squared, that is x. And then kung ano yung sign ng middle term dito sa trinomial natin, yun ang sign na gagamitin natin dito. Okay, so minus or subtraction sign. And then kuhanin natin ang square root ng constant. Ano ang square root ng 1? The square root of 1 is 1. So ilalagay natin dito yung 1. Ang nasa loob na ng parenthesis or ang binomial natin ay x minus 1. And then, square lang natin yan. So, we have 2 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 2. Simplify natin itong 5 minus 2. It will become 3. Nandito na tayo ngayon sa vertex form ng ating quadratic function. 
So we have y is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 3. So ito yan, according to our pattern. Now, paano kung dito sa vertex form ay pinapakuha sa inyo ang h and k or yung vertex? Ang magiging value ng h natin dito ay positive 1. Okay, so wag malilito. Dito sa loob ng parenthesis natin, kung negative 1 ang nakalagay dyan, so dito yung h natin, ang kukunin nyo lang dyan is yung 1. Kung negative 1 yung nandito, ay di positive 1 yung magiging h natin. Now, yung k natin, kung ano yung sign niya sa vertex form, yun ang sign dito sa ating sagot. So, h is equal to 1 and k is equal to 3. Yun ang ating vertex. Now, if ever meron tayo itong x plus 1, edi ang h natin ay negative 1. Okay? Now, let's try another method. Paano ba yung ibang paraan ng pagkuha ng vertex form ng ating given general form? Gagamitin natin ang formula ng h and k. Ang formula ng h is negative b over 2a. Ang formula naman ng k ay 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. I-identify lamang natin kung ano yung mga coefficients a, b, and c. Ang a natin sa ating given quadratic function ay 2. Ang b ay negative 4 at ang c ay positive 5. Ipalit lamang natin yan dito sa ating mga given formula. Una, hanapin muna natin ang h. Palitan natin yung mga coefficients. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative since meron tayong negative sa ating formula. And then, ano yung b natin? Ang b ay negative 4. Over 2 times a, ang a natin ay 2. Simplify natin ito. Negative times negative, answer is positive 4. And then 2 times 2, we have positive 4. I-divide natin yan, ang magiging quotient is 1. Ibig sabihin, ang h natin ay 1. Next, sa k naman tayo. We have 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. Palitan natin yung mga coefficients a, b, and c. So we have 4 times a, ang a natin ay 2 times c, ang c natin ay positive 5, minus the square of b. Ang b natin ay negative 4, so we have negative 4 squared. All over 4a, ang a natin again, that is 2, so we have 4 times 2. I-simplify natin, we have 4 times 2 times 5, answer is 40. And then negative 4 squared, that's negative 4 times negative 4, answer is 16 times the subtraction sign, so magkakaroon tayo ng negative 16. All over, 4 times 2, we have 8. Subtract natin yung nasa numerator, 40 minus 16, we have 24, divided by 8. Answer is 3. So mayroon na tayong hk, and that is our vertex. Ang gagawin natin sa h at k, ipapalit natin yan dito sa ating pattern na vertex form. And dito sa ating original given, alam natin na ang a is equal to 2. Kaya ipapalit lang natin yan, k, okay, dito sa ating vertex form. Ang a natin ay 2. Again, saan ang galing ang 2? Ito yung value ng a sa original function natin. Or yun ang numerical coefficient ng x squared. So ilagay natin dyan ang 2. And then quantity, kopyahin lamang natin yung x minus ano yung h na nakuha natin. Ang h is 1. So, we have minus 1. And then squared plus ano yung k natin? Ang k natin ay 3. So, that's our vertex form. Let's have our next example. y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 10. Gagawin ulit natin itong vertex form. Ang a natin sa ating given ay 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan gawin yung step number 2. Gawin na muna natin yung ating first step. I-group natin yung may mga variable na x. So, lagyan natin yan ng parenthesis. So, nasa loob yung x squared minus 2x. Ang next step natin, skip na natin yung step number 2. Gawin na natin perfect square trinomial yung x squared minus 2x. So, again, kailangan natin kuhanin yung half ng b, which is negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1. And then, square natin si negative 1, answer is positive 1. Yun yung ipang-a-add natin dito. Now, paano naman yung ipang-subtract sa constant term? 
ang gagawin natin, yung sagot natin kanina, yung multiply lang natin by A. Ano ba yung A natin dito sa ating given? Ang A natin is 1. So, 1 times 1, we have 1. Yun yung ipang susubtract natin. Minus positive 1. And then, gawin na natin square of binomial yung ating perfect square trinomial. Kuhanin natin ang square root ni x squared, which is x. Kung ano yung sign ng ating linear term or nung pangalawang term, kopyahin lamang natin. So, that is subtraction. And then, ano ang square root ni 1? Square root ng 1, that is 1. Okay? And then, square lang natin yung nakuha nating binomial. Simplify, negative 10 and negative 1 combined, we have negative 11. Ito na ang ating vertex form. And again, paano natin kukuhanin ang value ng H and K? Ang H natin is itong nasa loob ng parentheses. So, kung ito ay negative 1 sa H natin, that is positive 1. Babalik na rin lang natin yung sign, okay? Pero sa K, if this is negative 11, sa K natin, negative 11 ang ating magiging sagot. So, our vertex is 1 and negative 11. Now, using the other way or another method, ang value ng A sa ating given ay 1, ang value ng B ay negative 2, at ang value ng C ay negative 10. Gamitin natin ang given formula ng H and K. Unahin natin ang H. Palitan muna natin yung B at saka yung A. So, let's use substitution. Negative, ilagay natin dito kasi yun ang nasa formula. And then, ano yung B natin? Ang B natin ay negative 2. All over, 2 times A, ang A natin ay 1. Simplify, negative times negative 2, we have positive 2. And then, 2 times 1, we have 2. I-divide natin yan, magiging sagot ay positive 1. Now, let's proceed to K. Palitan natin yung A, B, and C. Ang A natin sa ating given ay 1. Ang C natin ay negative 10. Okay, minus, ang B natin ay negative 2. I-square natin yan. All over 4 times 1 because A is equal to 1. Simplify natin. 4 times 1 times negative 10, we have negative 40. And then negative 2 squared, negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4, times the negative sign or subtraction sign here, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 4. All over 4 times 1, we have 4. Negative 40 and negative 4, combine natin yan, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 44 over 4. So, divide, answer is negative 11. Yan ay yung values ng H and K. We have H is equal to 1 and K is equal to negative 11. Gamitin ulit natin yung ating pattern na vertex form. Ang A natin sa ating given ay 1. So, hindi na natin kailangang ilagay yung A na 1. Next, kopyahin lamang natin yung x minus, ano yung nakuha natin h? Ang h natin ay positive 1. And then square, kopya lang. Ano yung k natin? Ang k natin ay negative 11. So, nakalagay dito plus k. Kung gagawin natin plus negative 11, simplify natin yung plus negative 11, magiging negative 11 na lamang siya. So, eto na yung vertex form ng ating quadratic function. Now, balik tayo naman natin. Gawin natin from standard form or vertex form, gagawin natin general form, yung quadratic function. Narito ang mga steps. Una, yung square of binomial, e-expand muna natin yan or i-multiply muna natin. Sunod, i-multiply natin yung perfect square trinomial by A and then simplify and add K. So, those are the three steps na ating kailangan gawin. Let's have an example. Ito yung ating given vertex form. We have y is equal to 4 times the quantity x plus 2 squared minus 1 half. Kailangan natin siyang gawing general form. So, kailangan muna natin i-expand itong ating square of binomial na quantity x plus 2 squared. And, kapareho lang siya ng quantity x plus 2 times quantity x plus 2. So, i-multiply muna natin to using the FOIL method. And ito yung ating magiging result. Dito muna tayo mag-focus sa result ng quantity x plus 2 times quantity x plus 2. x times x, we have x squared. And then x times 2, we have positive 2x. 2 times x, we have 2x. And then 2 times 2, we have positive 4. And ito na yon 
Okay, yung naging product natin. Simplify muna natin itong nasa loob ng parentheses. Combine natin yung like terms. Kopyahin lamang natin yung x squared and then yung positive 4. Next step natin ay imumultiply natin itong perfect square trinomial by a. Ang a natin ay 4. I-distribute natin yan sa nasa loob ng parentheses. So, we have 4 times x squared. Answer is 4x squared. 4 times 4x. Answer is 16x. 4 times 4, we have positive 16 minus 1 half. Now, isubtract muna natin yung 1 half dito sa 16. Alam natin na ang denominator ng 16 ay 1. So, 1 times 2, yun ang ating denominator. And then, 16, i-multiply natin sa denominator ng 1 half. So, we have 16 times 2. Answer is 32. Kopihin lamang natin yung operation na subtraction. Okay, and then 1 times yung denominator na 1 is 16, we have 1. Subtract 32 minus 1, we have 31 over 2. Ang magiging final form ng ating function ay y is equal to 4x squared plus 16x plus 31 over 2. And nasa general form na ang ating function. Ang next given natin ay y is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 7 squared plus 10. Gagawin natin yung general form. First step, expand muna natin yung square of binomial. Magiging y is equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 7 times the quantity x minus 7 plus 10. Now, i-multiply na natin ang ating binomials. Ito yung magiging product. Pakita lang natin kung paano nakuha. x times x, we have x squared. x times negative 7, we have negative 7x. And then negative 7 times x, we have negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 7, we have positive 49. Ito yung naging product. Simplify natin yung nasa loob ng parentheses. Combine natin si negative 7x at negative 7x. We have negative 14x. Ang next step natin is i-multiply yung a or yung 2 sa ating perfect square trinomial or yung nasa loob ng parentheses. 2 times x squared, we have 2x squared. 2 times negative 14x, we have negative 28x. And 2 times 49, we have 98 plus 10. Kinopi lang natin yung plus 10. Ang final form ng ating quadratic function ay y is equal to 2x squared minus 28x plus 98 plus 10, we have 108. This is the general form. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.